This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss of WDWNT.com, and here now are the top Disney Park stories from around the world for February 11th, 2022. But actually, before we get to the news, you may have noticed there's two of these cups on the table. You might be like, why? Well, that one's mine. It's been on the desk for a few days. But our giveaway on today's show is going to be this Figment Turvis Tumbler from the Epcot International Festival of the Arch 2022. Stay tuned till the end of the show. I'll tell you how you can enter to win that. But I have to announce the winner of the Magic Band, which we use the word wrist strap because I just like to confuse you at home uh, on the Wednesday show. The winner is J. I'm going to have to read this from my phone because otherwise I'm never going to be able to read this. JG Kid 82 who wrote, That man makes me ill. What greed? Yuck. Nice wrist strap, though. He's our winner. So please email us uh, at wwnewstoday at gmail.com to verify. It's you, and we'll uh, get all your information and send that off to you. But again, if you want to be a winner like he was and get this mug, stay tuned, a tumbler, whatever it is, till the end of the show. We're recording this very late on Thursday. But let's do some news. Let's do it. People are still getting caught bringing guns to Walt Disney World. At least five people were arrested for carrying a concealed firearm towards the end of last year, according to the Orange County Sheriff's Office records released this week. It's becoming one of the most common arrests at Disney World. Disney posts the rules listing guns, knives, and other items banned on property, but that didn't stop one man who approached Disney security on November 28th and asked if he could enter Disney Springs with his weapon since he brought his concealed weapon license. The permit, however, was suspended and expired, the sheriff's report said. The 37-year-old Broward County man was surprised his permit wasn't valid and said he hadn't uh, thought to check it. It expired in July of 2019. The people arrested often say they forgot that they were carrying the weapons when they attempt to enter the theme parks or Disney Springs with their families, according to arrest reports. One man who was arrested said he, was, he went to the shooting range on Christmas Eve and then left his gun in his bag. The 27-year-old Orlando resident didn't remember the 9mm handgun was still there when he went through Disney's high-tech security detector on December 26th. It alerted Disney Springs security and the sheriff's deputy arrested him. The gun was not loaded. But that is not always the case. In fact, the 22-year-old Georgia woman said she didn't realize her loaded 9mm Glock pistol was in her purse when she went to the Transportation and Ticket Center on November 3rd with her two children and her children's father. Quote, once inside the security office, I removed six live 9mm bullets from the magazine that was loaded into the pistol and there was still the one live round that was in the chamber, the sheriff's deputy wrote in the report. The woman went to the Orange County Jail while her two children went with their father. Hopefully they went in the park and had a good time. Who knows? One woman, <laughs> this keeps going. One woman was arrested for carrying a concealed firearm without a permit at Disney Springs on November 22nd. The 30-year-old Davenport woman said she just purchased her 9mm handgun and normally keeps it in a bag under her driver's seat so her kids wouldn't see it. Quote, she shoots at the range all the time and knows not to carry because she has no license, but forgot to transfer the firearm to her vehicle at this time, said the report. Meanwhile, a 49-year-old North Carolina man carried a pistol in the front outside pocket of his black backpack when he arrived at the Transportation and Ticket Center on October 17th. The 9mm was loaded with 16 rounds, including a round in the chamber, the sheriff said. The man told authorities the gun laws are different in North Carolina and he's allowed to carry his pistol in his backpack back home. The man, who had no prior criminal history, didn't appear to get arrested, although Sheriff's Report noted uh, the case was forwarded to the state attorney's office. So there you go. A whole lot of loaded and unloaded guns attempted uh, to be brought into Walt Disney World towards the end of last year. It does seem to be common now. Someone claiming to be a social media influencer sat down on another guest's feet to get the best spot at the Magic Kingdom for a cavalcade. The influencer, air quotes, who uh, boasted she had 20,000 followers on Instagram plopped down in front of another woman and intentionally sat on her feet, according to the Orange County Sheriff's Office report released this week. The woman moved her feet away and the influencer claimed the spot. The report does not name the so-called influencer, sadly. The incident happened on October 2nd during what was likely a busy Saturday afternoon, right after the official 50th anniversary. As pop-up mini parade was coming, Disney cast members twice asked the influencer to move her feet from the street. The influencer ignored them. Finally, the woman, the one whose feet influencer had sat on, told her that Disney wanted her to move. Quote, I heard them, what do you think you're yelling at? The influencer said, standing up, according to the report. Quote, I was just saying I was out of the way so you could move, the woman whose uh, name was redacted responded. 
The influencer then tapped the woman's sunglasses and bragged that she had 20,000 Instagram followers. A Disney manager arrived and again asked the influencer and others to get out of the way for the incoming parade. The manager sided with the woman, telling the influencer that the woman and her family were there first. Quote, so that's what this is about, the influencer yelled, and the woman and her family soon left the spot to move somewhere else, but they noticed the influencer following them. She contacted Disney security, which alerted the sheriff's office about the battery incident. The woman didn't want to prosecute, but by the time the deputy arrived, the influencer had gone away. Things are getting too crazy at Disney World. Let's talk about some non-crazy stuff. A new lounge fly tote bag is available at the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. The bag has a layered teal and purple exterior. The purple section has the outline of Spaceship Earth and a yellow frame. It's surrounded by smaller uh, framed images such as figment, a saxophone, and a painter's palette showcasing the celebration of music, cuisine, and the fine arts taking place at the park. Epcot International Festival of the Arts 2022 is stamped on the teal section, which is also embroidered with three colorful stripes. The framed images continue on the bag and various drink, uh, drinks and dishes can be spotted, as well as smaller frame portraits of Spaceship Earth. The usual Disney Parks Lounge Fly placard is on the back of the bag, and the interior lining is the same pattern as the exterior, but entirely in purple. The bag costs $70. We're less than a month away from the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival, and Disney is already preparing topiaries and gardens. We spotted a new 50th anniversary flower bed on the edge of one of the ponds near Future World, well, what used to be Future World, sorry everybody, what is now World Nature over by Journey to Imagination. Mickey and Minnie heads were visible from across the water. The Minis have red bows. And between Mickey and Minnie's head again was a large red 50 in a light green circle in honor of the world's most magical celebration. The Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival begins on March 2nd. After being out of stock for over a month and distributing plastic bags with a discount instead, Savi's workshop finally has lightsaber cases or sheaths once again. We spotted guests in Galaxy's Edge at Hollywood Studios again with their lightsabers in those black cases. Cases were out of stock due to shipping delays, but now they're back. Various refurbishments are underway at the Courtyard of Dinosaur at Animal Kingdom. Fountains were drained a few weeks ago, but this one has been cleaned and refilled. Hedges still block access to some of the walkway in the area. And Aladar was painted with gray primer over the weekend. Crews have now begun repainting him to his original color. The table full of paint supplies was next to the dinosaur. And ladders were sitting in Aladar's fountain for reaching his back. A tarp was taped on the ground beneath him to keep the fountain tiles protected. And his back and the outsides of his tail and legs are now a soft blue color. His underside and most of his head are a tan color. He'll probably get a few more coats of paint before he's completed and the fountain is refilled. Also, the dinosaur posters at the entrance of the Dino Institute also looked like they had been refreshed. They aren't faded now. This is great. Great to see some TLC. A few months after we learned that Finding Nemo the musical is permanently closed and will be replaced by a new show, a new Finding Nemo show that's actually a Finding Dory show, one of the theater in the wild signs has been removed from Animal Kingdom. The sign was previously near the main entrance to Dino Land USA, pointing guests in the direction of the theater, but now there's just a patch of empty land where the sign was. Obviously, the name of the theater will probably still be the Theater in the Wild, but they are changing the show to Finding Nemo, uh, the Big Blue and Beyond, so it will need to be updated. Dr. Mark Penning revealed on Instagram a Babarusa piglet named Nutmeg, who made her onstage debut at Animal Kingdom after a few months backstage with Mom. Nutmeg is the second Babarusa piglet born in Animal Kingdom. She can be seen in the Oasis. Dr. Penning wrote, quote, like many of the animals in our care, Nutmeg's birth was recommended per the Association of Zoos and Aquariums Species Survival Plan. Babarusa pigs are a vulnerable species threatened by habitat destruction, making her birth a great contribution to their conservation. A new customizable Sunday called the Director's Cup has premiered at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. We swung by uh, the world premiere food court to check it out. Guests can choose four ice cream flavors for their Sunday. They can also choose either a red or green souvenir cup. The 1899 Sunday features four scoops of ice cream, brownie bites, chocolate chip cookie, strawberry, chocolate, and caramel toppings, whipped cream sprinkles, and cherries on top. The review, by the way, on our website. A turning red baseball cap, the first of what is sure to be a lot of merchandise for the film, has arrived at Walt Disney World. That resembled main character May's red panda form, which she poofs into when she's excited or stressed. 
That is a reddish orange with white red panda features embroidered on it. The eyes are two white buttons and white fuzzy ears stick out of the top of the hat. We found it at All Star Movies Resort for $24.99. In a showcase of what's coming to the 30th anniversary of Disneyland Paris, they revealed another statue of the Gardens of Wonder. With this preview of Cinderella, Disney gives us a look at our first completed statue. Cave of Wonders on social media shared the video of the statue in action at Disneyland Paris. Uh, the abstract metal statue has the silhouette of Cinderella's ball gown with her hair in a bun on top. And to evoke imagery from the film, green birds fly around her. Silver versions of her iconic glass slippers sit on gold pieces around the skirt, which likewise uh, twirl to create the illusion that Cinderella is spinning. We previously got a look at concept art for some of these Gardens of Wonder, as well as some of the other statues under construction. Two fan favorite restaurants at Disneyland Paris will be reopening with updated menus for the 30th anniversary, and there will be two character inspired ice cream treats. Toad Hall will debut a toefish vegetarian menu. How cute. Meanwhile, Walt's restaurant will reopen with a special anniversary menu as well. Cave of Wonders on Twitter shared that kids ice cream served in a Frisbee will return to Annette's diner in the Disney Village and there will be new character inspired ice cream in the parks, including two inspired by Donald Duck and Stitch. I got to stop for a second and just tell you how excited I am that Walt's restaurant is coming back. I have been to nearly every Club 33 and all these special restaurants at Disney parks around the world. There is no more special restaurant interior than Walt's at Disneyland Paris and if you ever do go and you haven't, or if you haven't been, uh, highly recommend it. The interior is basically themed to the creation of the park, uh, full of models and concept art, and it is wonderful. By the way, also, Toad Hall, a beautiful interior for a counter service. Another great place. More Disneyland Paris news. They've revealed more merchandise that will be available during their 30th anniversary. Cave of Wonders, again on Twitter, shared the photos and video of the new items. There's a ton to see, too much to cover here on the show. Be sure to check it all out on our website. There's a lot of cool stuff. Paris also revealed new concept art for the Disney Delight, which will take place on Sleeping Beauty Castle every evening from March 6th on. With Disney Delight, a sequence of state-of-the-art magic will illuminate Sleeping Beauty Castle as an introduction to Disney Illuminations. The concept art shows Sleeping Beauty Castle light up with neon lines of light with a 30th anniversary logo in the center and fountains going off in front of it. During that showcase featuring merchandise and more, Disneyland Paris characters and cast also performed the resort's full new theme song, Uman Kusi Lumi, I'm sorry if I butchered that, which will be used throughout the celebration. It's a really fun song. Uh, the video also shared via Twitter and on our website if you want to check it out in full. I'm very excited. We are going to Disneyland Paris for the 30th anniversary, and I am stoked. I love that park so much. Notice I said that park, but anyway. Nonetheless, for the absolute latest Disney Parks news, head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on your favorite social media platforms or even on TikTok. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next trip. The best part, their services are free. Visit WDWNT.travel for details. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. You can also support the entire team behind this program by joining the WDWNT Inner Globe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Couple of housekeeping pieces, obviously we gotta talk about this mug, but I gotta talk about these shirts. They're now officially available I'm sorry, the Horizon shirt is just about sold out. I think we have two or three left, so maybe your size is there and you're lucky. But at carouselproducts.com, we are quickly running out of our couple shirts. But, of course, you can buy them separately, too. You don't have to be in a couple. Uh, we have our Sunny Eclipse performing daily at Cosmic Rays Starlight Cafe. But we also have his wonderful, talented backup singers, the disembodied Space Angels, also available. Again, at carouselproducts.com, as always, our T-shirts are always $20.00. We never try to overcharge you for stuff. Always very fairly priced. I'm just going to make a pile. I'm just going to be cover the desk here with stuff. But let's talk about this Tervis. Uh, so this is the point in the show where I have to tell you, in order to win the Tervis, you have to like this video. You have to subscribe. And I have to tell you a word to comment with below. And I don't know. Let's do, uh, let's do weird figment cup. Those are the three words you got to write. Weird figment cup. Because it is, I don't know, his face. I mean, I bought it. So obviously I like it. But he has a lot of weird figment faces on this cup. So weird figment cup, 
put that in the comments, and on Monday's show, we'll announce a winner for this. As always, thanks for watching. For the Worldwide Leader in Disney Parks News, this is Tom Corliss and a very dapper Gelatoni saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Looking for the latest in Disney news on the go? Then download WDWNT the app. From news to videos to park hours and more, WDWNT the app is your one-stop shop for the latest from the Disney world. Available on iPhone and Android, just search for WDWNT in your device's app store.